Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to From the Holler. If you're new, my name is Missy, and y'all, today is a full-on work day. We are spring cleaning outside and in the yard and the gardens and all that, and some of our kids have graciously donated their time to come and help, so we've got two of the boys here, we've got baby grands here, and y'all, I'm in here fixing up some uh, sausage and biscuits, and I have got a jelly buffet over here on the counter. So we're gonna have a quick snack, and then we're gonna get to work. So come on, y'all, let's do this. Everybody. Welcome back to From the Holler. Y'all, I'm in the kitchen this morning. It is raining to beat 60 out there. And we're not going to get to see the eclipse, I don't think, because it is cloudy and rainy. And I will put a clip in to show y'all what's going on outside. Whew. So, today we're going to make a fudgy Coca-Cola cake. If you've ever been to Cracker Barrel and you've ever had their version of this cake and know how delicious it is we're going to make one ourselves today so i'm going to turn my oven on 350 get it preheating i've got my 9 by 13 here i'm going to use some baking spray with flour in it and just going to spray this pan down this is about empty hopefully i've got enough to I don't know if I actually sprayed anything in there or not. All right, now it's actually spraying. Okay, there we go. Whew. Mm. We're gonna set that off to the side. Now we're gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna set it over here on the other counter for just a minute. All right, I've got my big mixing bowl here. I've also got a little a pot out here we're going to use that here in just a minute and I'm gonna move y'all down here where you can see what's going on so hang on just a second all right y'all so that's as close as I can get right now okay but you can still see in there what's going on so to my bowl I'm gonna add two cups all-purpose flour One and a half cups of sugar. I'm using Splenda. You can use regular granulated, whatever kind of sugar you, you've got. One teaspoon baking soda. One quarter cup cocoa. And I'm just going to whisk this together. Make sure I get all the lumps out. 
make sure it's all incorporated there we go so now we're going to set this off to the side and we'll move everything out of my way now we're going to bring our saucepan back over here so this one is a little different okay and we are going to cross our fingers <laughs> and hope for the best but in here i and i've got half sticks here so in here we're going to put a cup of unsalted butter and i'm going to go ahead and turn that on so that can be melting we're just going to get all these in it takes four of these half sticks of course I know I could have been a little more prepared and had them opened up, but you know. So we had a big day here on the homestead yesterday. We worked outside along with two of our sons and uh, all but two of the baby grands were here and we had a big time with them. They played their little hearts out and they worked right alongside with us. We're doing a massive cleanup on the heart, ugh, on the homestead. So we had that going on. And uh, yeah, we didn't get done, but we got a good start going. So uh, we started off with our old in-ground garden up there and getting it all cleaned up that way if i want to i think i'm gonna plant some corn in it and my what well my watermelons and cantaloupes and stuff like that i think that's what i'm gonna put up there this year i haven't planted in that in that garden for two years now so we've given it a good rest so we're gonna see how that goes <sighs> so uh I'm going to let this butter melt, and then once it's melted, we're going to take it off the heat, and we're going to add some other ingredients, and then put it back on the heat. So as soon as I get this melted, I'll bring you guys back, and we will continue with the process. I've got my butter melted, we're going to move it off the stove, and I'm going to get my whisk out of here, because we are going to need it. We are going to need it. So to this, I am putting one cup. Of coca-cola so we're gonna add that in and then we're going to do a half a cup of buttermilk whoop and I am going to get all that buttermilk out of there there we go and then I'm gonna grab my whisk okay because then I'm gonna whisk in two eggs and I've just beat them and we'll give them another little beat there you do not want to walk away from this once these eggs go in okay and I am actually going to get this going like that and then I'm just going to pour them eggs in because you don't want to scramble your eggs okay that is not the intention of this now this is going back on the heat i'm gonna stir constantly my eye is on medium okay and all we're looking for is for this to come to a boil that's it so we're just going to stir 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 until that happens all right y'all this is coming to a boil i can hear it revving up <laughs> So we are just about there, just about. There we go. There's our bull. Y'all hear it? All right, so we're gonna take this off the heat. We're gonna turn the heat off, take it off. And now I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in. A little extra. So we're just gonna go ahead 
and get that in. Get this out of the way. Bring this back over. Okay. And now we're just going to pour this in. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Get all that yummy goodness out of there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright, so now I'm going to take my spatula and we're just going to get all this mixed together. That chocolate smell hits you with that hot liquid like, oh my goodness, it is heavenly. Heavenly. I'm going to scrape the sides down real good, make sure I have all that. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that smells so good. So good. There we go. All right, we'll set this to the side. I'm going to grab my cake pan. And we're going to put this in. Now, this batter is a little thick. Oh, there's some at the bottom. I didn't get mixed in good. Grab that. Look at that. That's almost like a brownie consistency, which now that I think about it, might not be so bad. All right, we're going to get this in this 9 by 13. We're going to get it spread out. Y'all, it smells good. And y'all, I'm not even a huge chocolate fan, but that smells pretty good. Okay. Make sure I get it in the corners good. Get it as evenly distributed as possible. We shall see how this goes. Now this is my first time making this particular recipe. So we're going to see how it goes. Okay, y'all are here with me for this maiden voyage with this recipe. This is not how I've made this cake before, but I saw it and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try this version of it. We're going to see. So that's what we're going to do today. Win, lose, or draw, we tried it. And that's what, that's what matters, right? Right. We tried it. All right, there we go. That's about as even as I can get it. So, there we go. All right, so this is gonna go in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. I'm gonna start checking mine at about 20, and we'll see where we're at at that point in time. All right, our cake's out of the oven. Took mine, and it, toothpick came out clean. Took mine about 25 minutes, okay? So we're gonna scoot this back. While that cake is still warm, well, I'm gonna need them, I don't know why I'm putting them up. Got me a mixing bowl here, and I am gonna put in half a cup or one stick of melted unsalted butter, a quarter cup cocoa, and then we're going to add three tablespoons of our coke. Now we're going to mix that up with our hand mixer. All right, now I've got some powdered sugar over here. The recipe calls for a one pound box. I don't buy mine like that, so I'm just going to have to add some in. A little bit at a time until I like the consistency of the icing okay all right we're gonna get a little bit here we're gonna get this going on low don't want to take a powder to the bath
Look at that. Taste test time. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mmm. That's pretty good. I'm afraid if I add any more powdered sugar, I'm, it's just going to be too sweet, too sugary. All right. Let's move that off of there. Bring her cake back over here. There we go. Now, while it's still warm, we're going to get this on here. I love that frosting. That's good. That is really good. And since I'm making it early, it's got to cool down completely, it says, before you cut into it. But we all know how that goes around here. Paps, fortunately, is at work, so I can keep him out of it. So all I have to worry about is me and Aiden, and I think we can do that. But I'm making it early, and it should be cooled down good enough to where it's ready to go when he gets home. So we can have this for dessert tonight. I love how easy that's spreading over top of that cake. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we're going to turn this around. Mm -mm -mm. The icing is melting, which we want it to do. Okay? We want it to melt and then it's going to as it sets and cools, it's going to harden a little bit on top of this cake. Again, if you've ever had the Coca-Cola cake at Cracker Barrel, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Look at there. Looky there. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now, I am no expert cake decorator or cake icer, so it is what it is, but y'all, and it's melting and going down along the sides there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. Again. Mm. Golly, bum, that's good. Mm-mm-mm. All right, there is our fudgy Coca-Cola cake done. I'm going to push it back there. We're going to let that sit there and cool off. I'm going to clean up all this mess over here because I can't stand it to be messy. And uh, we're going to let that sit there and cool. I promise you we're going to let it cool. And then we're going to do a taste test of this and see what we think about it. Again, I'm iffy on the cake, but that icing is on point. I'm just saying. So we'll see what that cake tastes like and looks like when it cools down. It's taste test time, y'all. So, got me a plate. Going to cut into this cake. Oh, and the icing is crunchy on top. We're just going to get a little sliver, just a tiny, tiny little sliver. Oh, look. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's take a bite of this. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Mmm. So, the cake is like a really fudgy brownie. Okay, very moist, very fudgy. Like, 
really good. I don't know if you guys can see. Very good. That icing, oh my. That is awesome. Y'all, I'm surprised. <laughs> and it's a happy surprise. Mm-hmm. 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 Perhaps we'll like that. Again, the cake is moist. It is very soft. It's fudgy. It's right on point. So, I'm happy with that. I am. And it is getting closer and closer to eclipse time. And y'all, it is still pouring down rain out there. I don't know that we're going to be able to see anything. I don't know that we're going to go out. I'm not going out there and sitting in the rain. Um, you know, we may go sit on the front porch or something and try to see what we can. But at this point, if things don't change out there, we're not going to be able to see the eclipse. So, I was really hoping that I could get Aiden out there and get him involved and interested in it. And, you know, it kind of be a little bit of our homeschool class on this subject today. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think we've got probably another hour and a half before everything's supposed to really get started good. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. If you've enjoyed this video or if you enjoy videos like this, give us a big old thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button as we would love to have you become a part of our YouTube family. Yes, we would. Love y'all. Mean it. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.